Hartley's old team hearts could be useful this season once Jim Jeffries puts all the pieces in place. Driver Jonsson, Obua, Buzid and Stevenson all out of the reckoning as the new campaign began. And two new strikers, Kevin Kyle and Stephen Elliott, were fit enough only for a place on the bench. There was a debut though for former Falkirk skipper Darren Barr. Saints manager Derek McInnes included new goalkeeper Peter Enkelman and strikers Sam Parkin and Marcus Haber. The best part of 15,000 inside Tynecastle plus Paul Mitchell. So, so. I'll come back on to Craig Thompson. Thompson with the angle pass neatly on to Templeton. Templeton nicely away, gets the shot in. Oh, a lively start at Tynecastle. 30 seconds gone. And already the first chance on goal. Nice touch by Temple that just dragged it wide. Black as Wallace in support. Wallace tries to move away from Mackay. Comes to Suso. Suso slips it through to Templeton. He's offside. It's a deft finish. It won't count. Good build up play for Hearts on the left hand side. Suso just trying to battle away from Miller. And Templeton just strayed too early. But finished neatly all the same. Oh, Jim Jeffries won't be happy. I think his side should have been 1-0 up. Craig sends it long. Should be up with the header, down on towards Granger. That's will claim that's a goal kick. That's the defenders causing the problems forward. Michael Juberic and Danny Granger almost combining. Craig once more. A decent cross in, it's deep. Miller comes in from the right hand side. And Tess Marion and Kello, Chris Miller, four goals last season. I think they're going to the score sheet here. Kello guarding his post. Wallace. They cross the Templeton. Callum Elliott. Straight up, Peter Ankleman. But again, good football from Hearts, and again, it comes on the left hand side. Suso picks up. Well, Wallace has been the willing runner all afternoon. Sends across deep. Craig Thompson! Well, the number 24 on his 24th appearance for Hearts has a great chance to give them the lead. But Sky's the shot. Suso and Davidson. Davidson felt he should have the free kick. It'll go Hearts' way. Suso on to Wallace. Templeton just inside him. Played across. Breaks back again to Lee Wallace. Good cross, Callum Elliott! Lovely header, and a minute before half time, Hearts have the lead at Tynecastle. Anderson got the ball away, fell again to Wallace, and Callum Elliott scores. Well, he didn't score for Hearts last season. Opening day of the 2010 11 season, yields the goal for Elliott. Neatly done by Haber. On to Cleveland Taylor, the substitute. Up against Thompson, sends it across, Parkin! Inside a minute, St Johnston are level, and it's their new signing, Sam Parkin with a goal. Cleveland Taylor with a delightful cross, and he stooped, and he conquered. Sam Parkin brings St Johnston level, and at half-time, they're going 1-1. Well, Hearts fans have waited for Kevin Kyle to appear, and finally he does come on this afternoon. Saliukas. Oh, Suso was taken out by Anderson. He's in trouble here. This could be a straight red card, and it is. St Johnson are down to 10 men for the last 18 minutes. Stephen Anderson for the challenge on Suso. It was reckless. It was from behind. And Stephen Anderson sees red. Now, there's been a few changes to procedures this season for referees, but that's not how you show the red card. Stevie O'Reilly. Another cool bass. Deeply away from Miller. Sends it across. Kyle heads it across. Stephen Elliott can't get there. Michael Jubery with the clearing header. Well, that's what Kevin Kyle can give you. Winning well in the box, but his strike partner just couldn't stretch. Lee Wallace was a prominent player in that game, Craig. Are you hoping that he can become a, a stick on for the left back position for Scotland in the same way that Alan Hutton is on, on the right? It would be good. You know, we could uh, we could do with somebody who can establish themselves in that position. 
Um, the best part of Lee's game, I think everybody would recognise, is, is his strength going forward. Um, he needs to do some work on the other sides of his game, particularly the defensive side. But he has got great quality. Um, you know, very willing to get forward, good pace, good left foot. And uh, I do like him, you know, but I think he's a young lad. He's still sort of making his way in international football. Um, but there's a, there's a place there for somebody, though. He needs experienced players around him, though, presumably, from whom he's going to learn. Yeah, yeah, of course. I mean, uh, you know, I think at international level, I think experience is vital. Um, but he's done reasonably well in the, in the games that uh, you know that he's played for Scotland, and you know over the over the years, the last three or four years, he's progressed quite well at, uh, at Hearts. So there's you know I've got great hopes for him. Could your old team Hearts be strong once Jim gets everybody back in contention? A good question. <laughs> I think a lot will depend on the strike force. I think everybody recognises in the last four or five years possibly they haven't really had you know a twenty odd goal a season striker. In fact, I don't even have had a 10 goal a season striker, and yet they've done reasonably well. So it depends on Kyle, depends on Callum Elliott, Stephen Elliott. Um, I don't know. That, that's the area that would still worry me a little bit. That was quite a lengthy don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Stevie O'Reilly, the referee, looked as if he wanted to throw the book at uh, Stephen Anderson, the St. Johnson player. And, well, you could, you could understand why, because this was uh, X-rated, wasn't it? Yeah, brandishing a card, would you call it brandishing <laughs> a card? Um, I love the way he kept his arm aloft there, that was a good follow through. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty impressive stuff. Not, not, a, not a great tackle to see, to be honest. I, I, think, that, uh, I think the tackle probably merited the red card, but I don't know if he needed to throw it at him. I don't know whether that's what card happy means or not.